So we're out here on Northern Jeffrey's Ledge. We are here to look at the discard mortality of cusk. And what that means is we're trying to figure out um, how many of these fish live and die after they are released following recreational uh, capture and handling. So uh, just on a rod and reel. Cusk are um, a data poor species and they're currently a species of concern, which means that we don't, we don't know a whole lot about them. We know that their, their numbers have been declining in the last decade. So it's uh, important for management and for the sustainability of the fishery that we uh, learn as much about them as we can. So to figure out when these cusk are potentially dying after release, we use Vemco's acoustic positioning system and we put these pretty much electronic tags on the fish. They're very small and they cost roughly as much as an iPhone. And we put these on the back of the animals and put them back into the water. The area that we're putting them back in is being monitored by a bunch of acoustic receivers and they're similar to the easy pass system on the highway. When this transmitter goes past one of them, this little transmitter makes a ping and that records a unique ID number and the receiver picks it up. And once we send all the detection data back to our manufacturer, we can then have it come back to us with a bunch of very fine resolution data. And by using these types of data, we can figure out if the animal is in fact alive or dead after release. Cusk, uh, after they are reeled to the surface, exhibit symptoms of barotrauma, which is trauma that comes from the expansion of gas from the swim bladder. In this case, lots of the gas escapes from the swim bladder and then fills other parts of the body. Symptoms can range from eyes being pushed away from the body, stomach aversion, where the stomach is actually forced out of the mouth of the fish. We also see bubbles under the skin and in the muscular tissue of the fish. So those symptoms uh, often keep cusk from being able to resubmerge. And so what we're doing out here is trying to return those fish to the bottom. We're using release devices. In this case, we're using a Shelton fish descender as our tool to return the fish to the depths. We can bring the fish all the way back to the bottom and then release them. So parts of the study include best handling practices, figuring out the best way to handle cusk, whether it's reducing time on deck, trying to minimize fight time by getting the fish to the surface as quickly as possible and then getting it back in the water, or ultimately potentially using these release devices to bring the fish back to the bottom.